Today I'm going to show you how to connect your new Hydrave filter to the refrigerator line. Here's what you'll need. Your new Hydrave filter, one adjustable wrench, a towel to catch any drips, and one quarter by quarter inch line like this one. We prefer a five foot stainless steel one. It's flexible, durable, and easy to use. You can get this at a hardware store or it's available for purchase on our website. The first thing you need to do is verify where your refrigerator line comes in and connects to your cold water. As you can see, this one here comes in under the sink and connects to the cold water here. The cold water will be on the right hand side. First step is to turn off the cold water. Turn it to the right all the way till it stops. Go to the fridge and try to pour yourself a glass of water to verify that the water is off. This will, all, will also alleviate pressure in the line, making the rest of the project easier. Once you've verified that the water is off, go ahead and disconnect the refrigerator line from the cold water. In some homes, this line may be plastic. If your line is plastic, stay tuned to the end of the video and we'll show you some additional options for how to connect the filter. Otherwise, the steps are exactly the same. Take this refrigerator line and connect it to the outlet side of the filter. If you tilt it down, you'll see an out and an inside. Screw it in finger tight and give it an additional turn of the wrench. Before we go any further, we also want to verify that the filter top is on snug. Give it a nice turn, nice and firm. And if the label is off, off center a little bit, that's totally fine. I'm going to move it over here, keep it out of the way for a second. Next, take your quarter by quarter inch line and attach one end to the cold water. Finger tight, one turn of the screw, wrench. Take the other end and attach it to the inside of the filter. Once everything's hooked up, you can put the filter anywhere that's out of the way under your sink, or we prefer to mount it on the side using the included screws. This keeps it out of the way and just keeps under the sink a little tidier. Now that it's hooked up, go ahead and turn the cold water back on. As you turn the water on, you may hear some gurgling as air bubbles are pushed out through the filter. Go to the fridge and let the water run for about two to three minutes. At first, you may see some cloudiness in the water. That's totally normal and will flush out after a minute or two. Once the water's back on, take a look at your connections and verify that there are no minor leaks. If you see any water coming out, just give them a little tightening with this wrench. Once you've verified that there are no leaks, you're done. Congratulations. Go ahead and pour yourself a nice glass of filtered water.